Getting set for baseball now on a Thursday night from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. It'll be fun watching these two swing it all series long. First pitch is next. Masahiro Tanaka will be on the mound for the series opener. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Tanaka right now is the best of all of their starting pitchers. Good fastball, 92 to 94. Best pitch is the split finger. He'll throw it early. He'll throw it often. If he has the good split, these hitters are in for a long night. Stepping up now, Tim Beckham. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Designated hitter, Tim Beckham. First delivery to him on the way. First of four here to start the weekend as the game's first pitch is taken and it's strike one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come in as hot as anyone in this first week of the season as they've won five of their first six contests. Yeah, Maddie, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. And that's exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good approach at the plate, working the ball to all gaps line the line this team swung the bats well I'm going to be looking for that again in this one that misses one and two not the warmest night you'll see around here and even 50 degrees at game time. Rounded back up the middle. Gregorius has it. And the throw gets him as he takes away a hit that time. Got him second. Third base to number two. Danny Valencia. In now for the O's. Danny Valencia in past meetings with Tanaka. He's one for five. The pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. He just sports that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. So coming to the plate, Manny Machado. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. ready here's the first offering line toward right center and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now hey a little top of the order lightning right here Dan the second and third guys in the batting order throw knocks out there and now you're staring a monster in the face Dero this is just what you don't want to face as a pitcher right you get the two and three hole guys up and all of a sudden now it's four Five and six going to have to get through the meat. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And the run will score easily as the Orioles are off to a one nothing lead. Hey, nice way to start a new series, Dero. The thing you want to do is try to score early. It's always nice to win the first game of a series. Yeah, they're coming out swinging right here, trying to set the tone and let everybody breathe a deep sigh of relief. Hopefully get this first game under our belt. Ready now for Baltimore. Jonathan Scope, a real threat with the bat, of course, as he currently leads the American League in home runs. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a knee-high fastball. Hey, he finds himself in a tough situation early, and he's going to have to execute a pitch to get out of it. But if he does, it'll build confidence, and he starts rolling as the later innings start happening. 
comes set and the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, make a pitch right here and get out of this. Get the boys in the dugout and regroup a little bit. One run is not going to kill you. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. Having back, right fielder. Mark. Now in the Mark. box, Mark Trumbo. And the Orioles looking for more here in this game's opening frame. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. The 1-0 home is looked at for the first strike. Machado on second. Mancini at first. Two out in the inning. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. The 2-1 is looked at for ball three. Two on, two out with a base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch that he can hit one out of the park on. Trumbo awaiting the 3-1. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. There's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Orioles settle for one. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The O's lead this thing one to nothing. Kevin Gossman is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy pitched really well in his last outing, only allowing one run. If he brings that kind of stuff to the ballpark, he has a chance to pitch another gem in this one. Here's the center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the Leading first. Of the Yankees, center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. First pitch of the at-bat. And he'll miss the target away with the fastball. It's 1-0. Oh. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they come in as hot as anyone in this first week of the season as they've won five of their first six contests. Hey, why not get on a hot streak, Matty? They played really well yesterday. Continue that trend. Stay on the attack. See if you can get on a hot streak. Maybe rattle off 8-10. to 10. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit hard to the right side. And that is through into right field for a single. As a batter right there, that's exactly the pitch your eyes light up on. You know he's known for a nasty split finger, but he left that one thigh high, and the batter did exactly what he's supposed to. Here's big Aaron Judge. His career numbers against Kevin Gossman. He's batting 500, 6 for 12. He's also hit three home runs. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a strike. Hey, from a hitter's perspective, I don't mind that take right there. I know it's in the zone, but this is a hitter's yard. You want something bell high that you can get loose on. Nobody out, runner on first. There goes the runner. Pitch outside, the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Looks like they're trying to be aggressive on the base pass in order to get that run back they give up at the top of the first. 
I like that, especially early in the game. So we'll see if they can drive him in now. The 1 1 is laid off for ball two. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. No one out with a runner at second. Fastball is looked at for strike two. That pitch up in the zone called the strike, and that's a tough pitch for a batter to hit, though, that fastball that's high in the zone. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Here's Didi Gregorius as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 0 1 pitch. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Hey, two tough pitches right there, and expect more of the same. With that guy standing out on second base. You don't want any RBI scoring right here. With that base open at first, he's going to grind out and try and get this guy to swing at something outside the zone. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. You hear that phrase, climb the ladder all the time? And that's pretty much what he did right there. When you change the hitter's eye level with each pitch in that at bat, it becomes very hard for him to adjust and put the bat on the ball. He made that strikeout look real easy. Giancarlo Stanton now. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Now this pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right now. Blew that fastball right by him. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. Here's the one and two delivery. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. One left for the Yankees. They still trail one nothing. In now is Pedro Alvarez. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Pedro Alvarez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. The 1 0 home is in there for strike one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. The 2 1.
on a line. That's a base hit. And the Orioles are in business here. It's a leadoff double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Here's the center fielder now, Colby Rasmus. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Ellsbury is under it, one down. At the play, Caleb Joseph hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Here comes the first pitch. And that one right down Main Street. Alvarez leads off second with one gun in the inning. And he misses with it one and one. Here's the one one. Now a swing and a fly ball. And foul. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Missed with a slider. He's going to have to make adjustment on that slider away. He can't just make it a non-competitive pitch and allow these guys to take. He's got to start that a little bit more over the middle of the plate to get that swing and miss on the outer half. The bouncer up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. And there's out number two. Now batting. Jim Beckham. Digging in for his second at bat, Tim Beckham, runner in scoring position with Sudan. First offering on its way. Nope. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Orioles out to an early 1 0 lead here in inning number two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Stanton coasts under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One left for the Orioles. And after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. Digging in now for the Yankees. Gary Sanchez is off to a 3.50 start here in the month of April, so feeling good in the early part of the season. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Check swing, but he held up in time, ball one. Now here it comes. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone-cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. Very weakly on the ground, but it gets foul. The 2-1. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3-1, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Into his motion. Here comes the 3-1. and one. A wave and a miss. A tick behind a good fastball. He'll be kicking himself tonight if he doesn't come up with a big knock right here. That pitch was in a hittable location, and a hitter of this caliber usually doesn't let that go by. Swing and a line drive to left. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. It's a nice job by the offensive player right there to stay in there on that fastball. He wanted it back. You could tell he was frustrated he swung through the pitch before. Here's Neil Walker. He, too, had three knocks in yesterday's win.
Here's the first pitch to him. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. And it's gone. A two run blast to straight away right field. Second home run early in the year. And the Yankees take the lead. It's two to one. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Brandon Drury will bat next. Hard on the ground toward short. Machado on the slide. It's in time. Batting eight. Second baseman. Number 25. Next for New York, number 25. And it's been a good start to the current campaign with the average up over 300 so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Right over the middle, knee high. The wind up and the 0 1. And the slider stayed low apparently for a ball. One out, nobody on. Towards second. And this is taken for the out. Batting nine. First baseman. The left-handed power batter Greg Bird digs in now. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Soft liner to the left side. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. The Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. We've played two, two to one, New York. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Danny Valencia. He'll be the one to lead off against Masahira Tanaka. First offering on its way. Sent on the ground out the second. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The batter number 13, shortstop. Manny Machado. Riding in once again, Manny Machado. A base hit in his first trip. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. In there, 0 and 1. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. Machado now on 0 and 1. Shot toward right center. And that's in for a base hit, his second in his many trips to the plate. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. One for one after a single this first time up. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Ellsbury is under it, and that's the second out of the inning. Ready for another chance? Jonathan Scope. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Mine to the right side. 
And that's a base hit, one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. That had to be in the scouting report right there. You don't see too many oh uh -huh. breaking ball ambushes in the game. He had to know that pitch was coming. Here's Mark Trumbo now as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Two on, two out for him here in the third. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Some guys have no trouble hitting with two strikes, and some guys never want to get there. Let's see the approach right here. I'd like to see him shorten up a little bit, maybe choke up and try and work the ball back up the middle the other way. Splitter misses, and it's one and two now. A two-to-one score here as we play inning number three. Hit out towards second. Scooped up the underhanded flip, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Orioles strand a couple. Our score remains two to one. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring in Jacoby Ellsbury. Center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. The one two. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. Now the pitch home to Ellsbury. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Right fielder. Digging in to try it again. Aaron Judge looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Popped him up. Into the stands. He got it. Here's Didi Gregorius. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. First offering on its way. And that one just missed outside. Gregorius, also known as Sir Didi around the game and in the Netherlands. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Hey, I think if you ask this guy honestly how his season's gone so far, he'd tell you he's not happy with it. It's been kind of an average year for him, but he has time to get hot and make that salary push. The 1-1 home. Is a fastball down below the knees. Hit hard on the ground at first. Alvarez is up with it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three, as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Leading off the inning, Pedro Alvarez, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Here's the first pitch to him. And that pitch catches the inside corner.
Now the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. Still no balls and two strikes. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. And this is swung on and missed, and Alvarez is sent packing for the first down. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here's the center fielder now, Colby Rasmus. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Slide out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And that's in there as well, 0 and 2 now. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0-2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Fourth inning of a 2-1 ball game. And he struck him out as well, so the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. The catcher, number 36. So digging in now, Caleb Joseph. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch coming, here it is. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. The wind up and the 0 1. There's a fastball that just misses, ball one. The 1-1 one, one home. Tapped out in front of home. Throw in time, and the side is retired. 1-2-3 go the Orioles. They're down 2-1. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskirchen, and leading off the inning, the big right-handed slugger Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Way in front of a great slider that time. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Now batting, Catcher, Gary. Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Up around the face. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get in the chase up above the zone a little bit. The 1 0. It's a swinging strike on the fastball. Watching him on the mound, I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really aggressive and confident over the last couple of innings. Fouled away.
tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. 3-2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Hit sharply on the ground. And in the left field for a one-out hit. Now batting. Designated hitter. Neil Walker. Here's Neil Walker. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. First pitch on its way. Softly hit out towards short. So this is pulled in by the shortstop. Now batting. Third baseman. Brandon Drury will bat next. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First delivery to him on the way. Hit to first. Alvarez has got it. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. The Yanks leave one. They still lead it 2 to 1. Leading off the inning, Tim Beckham. And they'll need him to get something going here. Designated hitter, Tim Beckham. Here comes the first pitch. No balls in one strike. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. The one two. Misses down below the knees. Hey, I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there. But you find yourself in a two two count right here. Interested to see what he goes to. Still two and two. Two two one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Into the box, Danny Valencia. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well and it's a big reason why he's had success. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Taken in by Gregorius. Throw gets him. Two down. Now batting. Manny Machado. Digging in and looking for more. Manny Machado. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. First offering on its way. A ball of no strikes. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. One run, six hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. 
And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Do you take your chances in this situation as a hitter, knowing he's just missed outside two pitches in a row, and dive a little bit and try and drive something in the opposite field? That one's in there on the black, two and one. The two one. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They still trail it here, two to one. Standing in, number 25. Leading He's 0 for 80. 1 thus far. Second baseman, number 25. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. The wind up and the 0 1. Just a bit jumpy that time, swung on and missed. You know, you don't face too many guys that have thrown a nasty splitter like he has today. He's had this lineup off balance all game with that pitch. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Hit back up the middle. And that's the first down. First baseman number 33, Greg Bird. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And that misses ball one. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball, one and one. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Now the 2 1. Is strike two swinging. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. Here now the 2 2. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Up next for the Yankees. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in the center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. Pitch home to Ellsbury. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Seared down the first baseline. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. And a great job to stick with it as he's able to make the play for the third out. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They lead it two to one. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. You up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. First pitch on its way. 
And that one just missed outside. Now the 1 0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The second base and number six, Jonathan Scope. Digging in and looking for more, Jonathan Scope. He singled his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. And this is low, ball one. Well, there are the judges' chambers, and what a cool thing it's become here in the Bronx, and well-deserved for Aaron Judge, of course, with the way he exploded onto the scene as a rookie in 2017. Just two simple words. All rise! Aaron Judge burst onto the scene, and what's really cool about the judges' chambers, all of those seats you're looking at right there are all given towards community organizations, charities, and even Little League team. So the judges' chamber is going towards a good cause. And Ellsbury will put this one away for route number two. Here's Mark Trumbo now. Here comes the first pitch. Sinker stayed high but called for a strike. One run, six hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Liner in there for a base hit. There's a lot of moving parts in some guys' swings. It usually oh, takes them a month or so to get it ironed Pedro out. Pedro Alvarez. In now is Pedro Alvarez. Oh, and that drills him on the mound as it veers off towards short. Safe at first. A good effort to recover there, and he almost made the play, but that's a base hit. You know, D. Rowe, as a pitcher, that can be so frustrating. You're taught to try to go out there and make quality pitches, and that was a really good pitch, and I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter smiling, running down first base, knowing he's got an infield single right there. He has no business. He'll line out probably 15 times, but it won't even out. You take him when you can get him. Standing in now, Colby Rasmus. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. that one either it's 2-0 oh. well not a great spot to be in right now 2-0 oh to a great hitter like this this is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher and if you have good off speed stuff this might be the time to start mixing in your off speed stuff trying to hold the lead here's the delivery and this one's tapped foul the home plate Trumbo over at second Alvarez on at first with two down. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. He really needs to find a pitch to put this guy away with right here, right now. He can't allow this inning to get any worse than it's already become. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Got him swinging on the splitter that time, and with that, the side is retired. Orioles strand a couple. Our score remains two to one. Digging in once again, Aaron Judge in his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Right fielder, Aaron Judge. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. 
Yeah, Matty, you're seeing a lot of late swings on the fastball tonight because this guy has had everything working. He has them in the proverbial rocking chair. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. Now the one and one pitch. He's in there for the second strike. Now an off-speed pitch that nearly ran in and got him. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. He's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now out there. That's sixth at this point. So he's got good stuff, and he's fooling a lot of these hitters. Stepping in now, Didi Gregorius. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. That's a great job of keeping your hands back. You could tell he was totally fooled. His hip started leaking a little bit, but he was able to stay strong enough with his hands not to overcommit. A bouncer up the middle, taken in by Scope, and there are two away now. Now back, left fielder, John Carlos Stanton. John Carlos Stanton now. No hits to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Case in point right there, Matty. We're seeing a trend, the north and south. A lot of pitchers working that elevated fastball and then breaking stuff off in the dirt. We used to see east-west, not the case anymore. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Two mid-90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go 1-2-3 as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Back here in the Bronx, Yankees leading this one as we get ready to start the seventh. But before we do, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Ready for another chance? Caleb Joseph. And guys, seventh yeah, inning morning. already? Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Here's the first pitch to him. 0 and 1 the count. Here's the pitch. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Guys, I've been really impressed with him tonight. I mean, he's carving these guys up with all of his pitches. Ready with the 0-2. And that sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Throw to 
first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Tim Beckham. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here comes the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. The one one home. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. He dives but he can't pull it in and it's down the line into right. The relay not in time and he's in there with a double. Finally a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat and this might be their chance right here. They struggled to produce a lot of runs but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Into the box now, Danny Valencia. As Tanaka jumps ahead of him here at strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. now. You could just see this guy out on the mound right here. Just the body language. He knows he's on top of his game. Executing a nasty slider down the way right there, giving this offense no chance. Oh, and two, here it comes. Missed with a slider. The one two is taken below the zone for a ball. The two two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Up next for the Orioles. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Manny Machado, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that one right down Main Street. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the brake, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds at 0-2. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Beckham at third with two away. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Here now the 2-2. He's a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So it's no runs on a hit. No errors and a man left. Seventh inning stretch time now here in the Bronx. The Yankees lead it 2-1. Ready for another shot now. Gary Sanchez. He'll step in to start things out here against Kevin Gossman. He's 
ready. Here's the first offering. And a fastball just a bit up. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this is going to find the wall out near the Yankee bullpen. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. When you're leading by one run, you want to do everything you can to add to the lead and give your bullpen a little breathing room. It makes a big difference, so double here goes a long way towards making that a real possibility. Neil Walker will stand in again as we flash you back to earlier. He's accounted for their only runs of the ball game on one swing of the bat as this was the swing right here. First offering on its way. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite-handed, opposite bat. You can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. A 1-0 oh delivery. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. A runner at second, nobody out. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. When a guy homers off you early in the game, the last thing you want to do is challenge him and maybe have him do it again. He was a lot more careful with him there. Riding in once again, Brendan Drury. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. The 1-0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. None out, runners at first and second. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Ready to deliver the one and two. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Now batting number 25. Ready once again number 25. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Somebody needs to tell his hitter he better get it going, or that bat's going to get blown out of his hands. Those are two horrific late swings. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. The one two. Just hung in there on that one. First and second now one man out. a 
swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number two. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for almost everyone, the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big one. Some guys have success when they first get called up. But as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. Digging in to try it again. Greg Bird. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Looking to keep this a one run game. The pitch. No balls and one strike. Drill down the line. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Sanchez. At second, Walker at first, two out in the inning. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. Dylan Batensis been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Dylan Ready now for Baltimore. Trey Mancini is working on a one for three thus far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. First pitch on its way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. The 0-1. A wave and a miss. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Missed with a breaking ball. There's one well above the zone for a ball. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. And the knuckle curve that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Here's Jonathan Scope now. Previous history against Dellen Batansis. A number of meetings. He's one for seven. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Outside with that slurb of his one ball, no strikes. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Ball two now. Three and O oh now. On deck, the right-handed hitting Mark Trumbo. He's set. Here's the 3 0. -oh. Swing and a little tapper. The 3 1. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Man, when you don't get a call on a pitch that good, you have to wonder if maybe it's personal. You can't blame him for being angry, but he's got to find a way to move on and focus on the next batter. Here's Mark Trumbo now. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And the first pitch is chopped foul at the plate at strike one. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Here it comes, 0 2. 
Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. That's a big strikeout there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. In now is Pedro Alvarez. He's two for three and looking for more here. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he lays off there, 1-0. Runner on first with two away. Swing and a miss. A little too anxious there. One and one. Way in front of that fastball. I try and tell people all the time, you're facing 90 to 92, 94. You can still see seams. It starts getting above 94. It starts to blur itself a little bit. You start pitching where this guy's at, you're seeing nothing. You're seeing bait. Working for the punch out and the offering. To two balls and two strikes now. Two out with the man at first. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Now the three and two pitch. Drilled the first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Orioles lead one. They're down 2-1. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Orioles, number 48, Richard. So back to the top of the Yankee order, digging in, Jacoby Ellsbury. He was a ground out victim last time up. Now the pitch home to Ellsbury. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Wind up and the 0 1. Zero. Couldn't wait back, a swing and a miss. And no swing, apparently, ball one. Boy, a check swing on a pitch way out of the zone. Just held up, but boy, as a pitcher, you're hoping that he swings at that one. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. There's a look at the final line for the Orioles starter. He was on point from the get-go this evening. Here's big Aaron Judge. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ready. Here's the first offering. And he fouls this one off. Behind 0-2 now. Here it comes on nothing and two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Here's Didi Gregorius. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 
wind up and the 0 1. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. Nighttime look there at the Chrysler Building, once the world's tallest structure, as we welcome you back to baseball from Yankee Stadium. Aroldis Chapman comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Aroldis Chapman. Here's the center fielder now, Colby Rasmus. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Colby He's set and the pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Here comes the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. The 0-2 on its way from Chapman. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Chapman is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. First pitch coming. Here it is. There's a strike. One run game here in the top of the ninth. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now. 0-2. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. He's set. Here it comes. Started that swing a bit too early. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. Popped him up. He brings it in, and the Yankees have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. Four wins in a row for these guys, and I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see how long they can keep this up. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one, the final score. New York took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Masahiro Tanaka takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Kevin Gossman. Pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Aroldis Chapman closes the door for the save, his fifth of the year. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Yankees, two runs on five hits. No errors, they left four men on base. For the Orioles, one run on nine hits. No errors, they left nine runners on base.
the winning pitcher is Masahiro Tanaka. His record is now 2-0. The save goes to Araldis Chapman, his fifth. The loss goes to Kevin Gossman. He falls to 1-1. One one. Time of the ball game, 2 hours and 42 minutes. Our paid attendance here tonight at Yankee Stadium, 53,325. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely.